Hello everyone, this is Dennis from A Fresh Endeavor Chef Demic Chefs and Christine and I have this channel had it for about six months and we have about 55 videos. They're mostly cooking videos with a few tutorials thrown in and also some unbaggings and unboxing videos. I'm going to show you some clips so you get a chance to see what we're about. It'll give you some sort of an idea. Okay, is this hot? This is hot. But it's hot but flavorful. Oh my god, the flavor really came out. Really, really spicy. The potatoes, look at the potatoes. You would think that those things were stuck in a deep fryer. Because part of the time they were broiled. The spatchcock chicken, look at the color on that. Okay, if you can, name, you can see. If you can, let's take it up here a little bit. Look, look, at, look at this. Look at that. The sauce. The sauce. The beautiful it, crisp. It's skin. been basted. The extra chicken thighs are on there. They've been cooked completely. This is nice lunch and, and dinner for a couple days. This is utterly oh, amazing. This is so so good. And what you're seeing, it's got a springy texture to it. It's and really nice. we've got the most incredible texture. And what I want to do is cut this in slices like this. We're going to put them in the toaster oven. I'm going to explain and show you something we're going to do with this. Because it's for a little treat. But this could not be happier with the texture of this. This is springy, cakey. It's beautiful. An alternative flowers, huh? Okay, we have the chicken ready to go. It's been salted. be flour, egg wash, breadcrumbs. So you put it into the flour. Now so far I'm only using my left hand and that there's a reason for that. See the right hand? Not, not touching anything yet. So you use the left hand, you go into the egg wash, make sure it's coated. Any excess egg, off. Let it drip off. Now you can use your right hand. The key with this is to make sure that your right hand stays dry. That way you're not gunking everything up. Besides gunking up all the dry ingredients, you wind up spending way too much time having to wash your hands and come back and restart everything. Okay, now we're back. We have the salmon that uh, has been marinating for a while, for about half hour, 30, 40 minutes. We're gonna put that in now. There's a little bit of fresh cracked pepper in there to help activate the fresh turmeric. So there's mustard oil in here, pan. Shake it a little bit, make sure it doesn't stick. I'm gonna cook it for about two minutes on each side. I left the skin on because I want the skin in the dish. We're going to crisp that up. That's the way I was taught to make it. With the skin. Once I had it that way, there's no going back. Hey everyone, every year we generally spend Thanksgiving week in Washington, D.C. One of our favorite haunts is to have lunch or dinner at Nando's Famous Chicken. It's a Portuguese, South African chain, roasted chicken in a peri-peri sauce. We're going to miss it this year, so we decided let's do Nando's. We're going to have to make it ourselves. So we've read quite a few recipes. Uh, Dennis has gone through things, so have I. And here we have onions to go under the broiler, red onion. Red bell pepper, because that was what was suggested. We've also got orange and yellow. We had those and I wanted to use them. Now we've got serranos, some poblanos. Magic ingredient is actually a bird's eye chili. So we went ahead and got the Thai red peppers, figured that we'd use these, not all these. So that was a Wishful lot. Wishful thinking. Yeah, that was, that was a, a lot. That was a load of reality. That's how many we're gonna be using. Yeah, we had eight there. We're gonna use more if we need to. But so, we Hello everyone. We're going to be making spatchcock chicken. And this method probably will take me hours and hours and hours. Just kidding. It'll be like four to five minutes. But then I'm going to show you some other things to go with it. All it means is we're removing the backbone here and then going to make a little slit underneath to separate it so it butterflies. 
it's not that difficult. So, this is the way I was taught in culinary school many, many years ago. We stand it up and take your hand, and of course you have to have clean hands to do this, or you can wear gloves, and you grab it right here. You want this to be, you want to stand it up, you want to grab it on one side, you do not want to cut your hand. Okay, that's the number one rule right there. Okay, so I'm going to take the knife, and you've got the middle there, and you're going to go a little bit to one side. You can do a little bit on the other side, and you see that, that's going to come right out. It should cut like butter if you do it properly. Introduction to fall, and what do you think we have here? Well, it looks Squash. like a cup of coffee. Co <laughs> Forget about the coffee. Because your ass is always <laughs> drinking coffee. <laughs> that, well, this is the coffee, the flat white that I have here, four shot flat white. I only have that during the fall, right? Yeah, it's a lie. A lie? That's a big lie. Big it's lie. called like 97 okay. degrees outside, <laughs> sweating like anything, and he's having a four shot latte and can fall asleep right well, before bed. Okay, let's talk but about anyway, the squash and then we'll talk about We'll talk about your drink, uh, okay? habits. So here we go. Acorn squash, everybody knows what acorn squash Beautiful is. Beautiful orange on the inside. Delicata. Now I didn't like these for years because the yield on them isn't that great, but it took me a while to realize that you can eat the skin. Cut it in rings, once, roast it, eat the skin. Once I realized you could eat the skin, I know sometimes they say that and you're like, yeah, well, whatever, you can eat the skin, sure you can. You know, it's like eating cardboard. No, it's not. If you do it right, it is wonderful. Carnival, I, I just love the look of it. So that's one we'll be using too. That just came out. Christine? That is a honey nut. It's a um, darker, denser butternut squash. Uh, we've been seeing them in Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. They are so good. It's a darker, richer version. We have been seeing this probably for, what you say, three weeks maybe? Mm, yeah, about three weeks and yeah. it seems to and be we, pretty steady in both stores. And we've been using them and they are great. You, you peel them off, you can cut them up and take the seeds out and roast them and they are a beautiful color and a wonderful flavor roasted. There are other things you can do with them and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with it in a few videos from now, but we're not going to talk about that now. So, what's this doing out here? What's a mango? Is that a mango? That's look a mango. how big it is. That's a big mango. Why is it so big? Why is it? Look at that. A mango? I thought mango season happened a while back, but I saw this in the store and I'm looking at it going, whoa, those, that's a big mango. I thought it was one of those big avocados that's kind of watery. Yeah, it kind of looks like but it. But it's, yeah, it's a mango. So it's a keet. Is it keet? Is that how you pronounce it? K-E-I-T-T. -T. Keet, I would assume kite, keet. keet. I would assume keet. But anyhow, uh, the, the beauty of this is, I, I did some looking into it, and it's it's a little weirder looking than the regular ones. You see how it doesn't, it kind of rounded here, and it kind of has a little indentation right there, and I suppose that and the size uh, lets you know what it is. The, so the, the key, there's a few things about uh, peppers, peppers in general. The things you do, you don't want to do. One thing you do not want to do is wash the peppers. Some people will take the and they'll see the skins like this and go, well, I, you know, I don't want to, I want to make it be able to clean them easily. And they take the peppers and they put them under cold water. Well, you're just washing away flavor. So you don't want to do that. You never want to do that. So I'm going to take these now and we're going to, I'm going to show you kind of what you do. These are not easy to do because they're so soft. So you, you kind of try to peel them away the best that you can. Hatch green chilies, about two weeks season, maybe a little bit longer, but not much past that. And they're such a wonderful pepper, especially when they're roasted. I've been working with a lot of natural pigments lately. I don't like using conventional food coloring. So I was inspired when I saw blue algae powder used in a curry. Well, of course, I had to order it, made a blue curry for a client, then started thinking in other terms. And so many vegetables, fruits, what have you, have great colors, so why not utilize it? So we're back. Here it is, fresh out of the oven. Well, and it cooled for about 20 minutes. Now, I put the meatballs in a grid, four by four. So we're going to go in the center right here. 
cut into this. Look at that. And look at that. Ooh. See all around. Oh, look at that. Meat meatball. Meatball. Macaroni. Covered with macaroni and cheese. Now you understand why she wanted to put the cheese there. Because you could see some of that cheese melted down into the meatballs. And also let the macaroni float on top. And this is why we thickened the sauce, the marinara sauce, and also we, we did a drier version of the macaroni and cheese and let it soak and cool for a while so that these layers would stay in and of themselves. These are just a few of the clips that we have. Please subscribe, ring the bell, so that you get notifications anytime that we upload. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.